we're out today and mostly for our Cub Scout pack, but for anybody who wants to, we're going to show you how to do some animal track casts out of plaster. Uh, it's a cool leave no trace way to kind of bring nature home with you. Um, so we're right here on, on one of our trails uh, where the deer frequent. And, and here, here's a nice track, a nice, really nice deer track. And you actually know, see where the claws kind of go right up there into the mud. Um, so one thing I want to do, if I have any like small like branches or leaves, I'll pick them out carefully um, without you know destroying that, that track. Uh, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need your bag of plaster of Paris. Okay, I put one cup of plaster of Paris in here. And we're gonna need a little strip of cardboard, a paper clip, and we're gonna need a half a cup of water because it's a it's a, a two to one ratio. So uh, one cup of plaster of Paris to uh, a half a cup of water. I have a plastic bag to kind of keep everything together. All right. And now we're gonna go ahead and seal up that bag very carefully. All right, about the consistency of pancake batter. Now again, you don't have to care if you're out in the hiking, you don't have to carry a measuring cup with you because you, you'll notice that your water bottles have uh, measurements right on them. But I just find it's easier for this just to bring it along a measuring cup, just so you have the perfect thing. Again, mix that. I, I like to mix it for about two minutes. Make sure you go to the lumps out. Henry's mixing, I'm actually gonna make a form around the track. And the way I do, I take my piece of cardboard, you can use a piece of plastic. And all this does, it just kind of keeps everything together a little bit nicer, I think. Right now the ground is really frozen, which is good. I'm just gonna paper clip this. We're gonna do our best to kind of so we've got our mixture down to about, looks kind of like pancake bla uh, batter. And we're just gonna pour. I like to kind of pour next to the track, uh, slowly. Usually the plaster of Paris will even itself out. But what I kind of like to do is I'll take a stick and we're just gonna make the top of that as level as possible. Okay. Here we are. Looks pretty good, buddy. What do you think? Pretty good. Looks pretty smooth. Looks like a pancake. It does look like a pancake. And one thing you can do if you wanna hang them on the wall, you can take a paper clip and bend it and actually set it inside the plaster of Paris and it will dry inside. Uh, but we're not going to do that today. All right, so we're going to let this dry uh, at least an hour and then come back and see what it looks like. So this looks pretty dry. And we're going to gently remove this and hopefully it comes out. Again, be really careful. You want to get the, fr you don't want to break off the, uh, the front of the hoof there, right? Okay. Okay. Sometimes you gotta almost like dig them out. All right. You can see pretty good right here. We get back in, we'll take a, a little bit of a scrub brush to it. But you can see right here. See, buddy? You really see the, the hoof there, the front of the, the hoof. Uh -huh, I see all right, that. so we're gonna take this in, we're gonna clean it all off, get the mud off. It's kinda, some of this is kinda frozen right down there. Uh, so we're just gonna gently scrub this off with a brush and then we'll take a look at this hoof, all right? Yeah. So I got the, uh, we got the track brushed off pretty well. Uh, just using a, a broom a little bit of a wisp broom just to kind of get some of this mud off. It's still pretty frozen. 
So some of that mud is frozen on there. When, once it heats up, we should be able to get the rest of that. That dirt will flake right off. But you see some really good detail right here. Right here for the uh, the toes of the hoof. Again, a, a deer hoof is actually pretty cool. You know, they're, they're made of keratin, the same thing that your your fingernails are made out of. And it's basically an elongated fingernail that uh, the two toes you see here on the hoof are, are your your uh, your third and your fourth finger basically of the deer and it's pretty uh, amazing structure because that's what allows deer to run quickly and and bound and it's a, a pretty pretty neat system uh, one thing we also got the uh, a little bit of the other hoof that was next to it right there again those on our our deer super highway that's the deer take up take that a lot but it's actually pretty neat how that mold got in the ground get get the front you can kind of see how pointed those are and that's you know deer can use these not just for running but they can use them for uh, defenses well it's one of their uh, defense mechanisms so a pretty cool thing to do uh, try it at different times of year to see how your molds work